Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I wanna to show you how to make an intro for your YouTube channel. Now this is an incredibly easy uh, way to do this where you can customize. You don't need any uh, video editing skills to do this. It just makes it easy with a few clicks and the place is called Place It. I'm gonna put the links down below so you can check this out. Uh, just so you know, this is not uh, something free. You do have to pay a monthly subscription and the links down below are affiliate links. But I'm gonna go through the process of showing you um, how easy this is to work and then I'll go, go and download it and just upload it to a video editor to kind of show you the whole process in this and how customizable uh, these intros are. Place it is a great way, especially if you're changing things lots and you want those quick templates for so many different social media options. But anyways, let's get started with Place It and making your YouTube video intro today. All right, so I'm just on the front of the Place It site and I'll just show you where to kind of navigate to find your intros. Uh, if you go up to the top, you can see there's videos here. Oh, the one thing I just wanted to point out too, look at all the other different things for YouTube you can make. Actually, there's thumbnails, there's channel art, lots of different ways that give you uh, great places to start to make, that, uh, make your channel professional looking. Uh, but I'm under going to go under videos here and I'm going to go over to the left to intros. And then you're going to see all these different intros come up and if you hover over uh, you get kind of a, a look of what it's going to be like and you can see where you're going to place your logo in. So if you go through, hover over and you can change all those colors and that's what I'm going to show you and then you upload your imagery and you can change uh, the audio behind too. But just showing you how many there is, uh, you can go through with all the pages and I think everybody would be able to find something that suits their needs and then I'm going to go through, I'm going to pick one here. Uh, what I also like is you can, uh, if you, you do see some you like, just click the little heart and it will save those uh, in your favorites on it so you can go back and as you go through, because there's so many to look through uh, that you'll definitely want to save them and then kind of compare which ones you want. So I'm going to just go through, I'm going to pick one here and then I'm going to show you uh, how to start editing from there. All right, so now I saved a couple and to find the ones I saved, I'm just going to go up to this heart, click on it and you get the ones uh, that you've kind of marked with the heart. I'm gonna use this one. This is gonna be a pretty simple one. I'm just gonna upload uh, my one little logo, but I'm gonna just click on it. When I click on it, what it does, it brings me into this uh, place where I can start editing. So right away, I might be thinking, well, okay, I want a different, uh, different colors on it. Actually, no, I'm gonna upload uh, just a logo here first. I'm just gonna go off my desktop and I'm just gonna grab uh, this one of mine right here. And I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna crop this, let's see. No, I'm gonna leave it just like it is. So I'm gonna click on crop, it fits in, and it will upload it to this. It's gonna be, these colors don't match what I want, but I wanna show you how easily you can change the colors uh, on it so you can see on it. I can click for a little preview and it will go through and process it. Uh, usually it's very, very quickly. I haven't waited more than a minute on any of the processing uh, that I've done before. And then what I'm gonna do after that, I'm gonna show you how to make some quick changes. Uh, these intros are pretty simple. There's a little music to it. You can adjust the music right up here by clicking the edit and you can go through and pick, you can test them out and so on and pick a different one just by hitting select. I'm just gonna leave it as the one it is, but I do wanna adjust some color. So this is the background right here. And I'm gonna go with this background right here. And I'm gonna change the, uh, the splash to white here. So it gives you a little bit, uh, and I could always go more. If there's a specific color that you want, uh, look under more and you can see that you can, um, where you can uh, put the specific color in on the number here. So uh, now I could preview this again. And then you have the animation added onto it and it's all done very, very quickly. 
Now, before I download this, I just wanna show you one other thing is that you can make this longer by adding more slides. So if you wanted to add some text after, uh, you can see down at the very bottom, if I go add slide, I have all the options to add and I can make more changes. Now, I'm just gonna add one of these uh, here. You can kind of search uh, through a lot of these and you know, if you wanted one with text on the video, if you wanted to write a message, you can pick one. So I'm just gonna pick one of these ones and then make, uh, just show you all the options on this one. So I'll pick this and it will be added to the bottom that you can see. So I can click on this now and start making the changes to this and you see a lot more options all of a sudden. You can uh, type whatever you want uh, up here. So type, I'll just write to whatever type whatever here and it's gonna show up over on your preview. And then we can also make changes to uh, our font really quickly on it. So even if you were looking at using something like one of these for your intro, that would work too. You could go through same as I showed you before. We have our music, we have our background colors that we can adjust on it and go through and you can change your background images. You can even search. So if I was uh, just gonna type computer, since I can deal with tech stuff, and I can go and select a little video of a computer would be in the background uh, there. So you have all these different options. If you don't like uh, what you have and everything, if you kind of go down, you can see I can duplicate or you can uh, move it. You can move these around. So if you wanted it to come first, you just drag it around. I'm actually gonna remove this slide here. I just wanted to show you that option because all I want to do is download. So I'm actually going to save the preview one that just the draft that I have of it. So now this one is saved and I uh, can go through and download this now. So you need to render all slides before downloading. So preview all slides. I got to make sure that I render them. So now this is all rendered. I can go ahead and hit download. So no watermark, high resolution, because I have an account, download now, and it's gonna download that file. So what I'm gonna do in a moment here is I'll just take that file and bring it into an, an editing. So for the download, you get an email sent to whatever account you have it set up to. And you can see I have my download option here. It shows the little preview. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit download this uh, from this point and it's downloaded on my desktop. What I'm gonna do uh, actually is I'm gonna just open this up and show in folder and I'm just gonna uh, minimize my email. So this is the intro right here. I'm gonna bring this over. I'm using just shortcut in this example, but whatever video editor uh, you have. So that's the preview there. I can now drag it down into my timeline and I can start doing editing. So if I had my other video clips, I could drag, be dragging this wherever I wanted to, but if you had it at the very beginning or however you place it in here, uh, you can go ahead and have that uh, intro for your future videos. So I hope you kind of like this little way of making an intro for your YouTube channel. I find this extremely um, useful uh, to make these quick professional looking intros with no video editing skills to it. And there's so many other things you can use uh, place it for. I was using it a lot for Instagram lately because there's all these little um, Instagram videos that you can create and that's something I'm using um, uh, more on a daily fashion. So it makes uh, sense for me to have uh, the account. Anyways, I hope you like this and hope this works out for you. If you're looking for a way to create uh, some great looking intros for your YouTube channel, thanks for watching this week. I'll see you next time on Teacher's Tech.